Helena is asking, I would like to know how you handle stress and what do you, what do, you do to keep your energy up? So how I handle stress, it's so strange kind of to answer the same question right away that I already answered. Um, the way I handle stress is first, I know myself really, really well. I know my limits, uh, number one. And I also know I'm very attuned to my energy. So I feel when I'm going like, oh, you know, either I'm getting upset or I'm getting angry. Or I'm getting like, oh, my energy goes everywhere. And I'm like, so there are different qualities of imbalance, right? And I'm very clear. I'm, I'm very connected to myself. Like I really know how I feel different moments in time. So I know how I handle stress. First of all, I'm very aware of I'm getting out of balance. Mm -hmm. And then I have just tools that I use. Um, let's, I'll give you one. Let's say uh, an example that I gave before. Um, very fresh example, right? Let's say when I had, a, I had to have a conversation with a person I love. Um, there was a big, like, you know, difficult. I didn't want to be in it. I, I mean, I'm a good communicator and all those things. But at that point in time, it was a bit too much. And I'm like, I, I need time out. I, I, I need some time out. Like, and that's a very good tool, right? Whenever you are just time out with much love. And what I went, what I did is I went to play with the crystals. Like I, I um, love me. I make my own jewelry. I love crystals, right? So I went to just stay for some comfort. But then I started creating. And in five to ten minutes, I was so happy and I was in a different world they were so clean and happy and I thought wow that's so cool like I haven't done that consciously before but it just my energy naturally went to that so it was a new tool for me but some of the most uh well used by me tools are going out to nature by myself being in silence dancing it out making a good cup of tea um maybe writing. So there are certain tools that I it helps me keep myself in balance, eating good food. Like I'm, I'm a really good cook and I, I'm very sensitive to different foods. So I, my, my body, like my body reacts, gives me instant messages if the food is not good for me. So that's how I handle stress. And um, I also, um, you know, the, um, in one of Chinese systems, I don't remember which one I was reading recently, like I think they say something like every person has six characters in them or six parts. Like the way Chinese people view ancient Chinese people, your inner world is very curious, it's very different, right? It's like you don't need to do, let's say, therapy. I don't know, you may release anger with sound. And I told you about the six healing sounds, right? But in the, the reason I'm saying that is that I also realized at this point in my life that I have certain... I'm not going to say personalities in me, but parts in me that are very prominent. They're very much me, me, but they're different. Like one part that is very me, my essence is that I'm, you know, I have a big heart. I used to, like, you ask me for the sweat, I'll give it to you, right? I used to, I, I, I used to be very giving, not that I'm not giving now, but I'm very aware of boundaries. I'm very aware of my own energy, right? I'm very aware that this part of me that's beautiful and innocent, and I love her because she's like the essence of me. She's joyful and happy and just so, but she can also be easily, you know, either manipulated or mystery. Like th th there are aspects to each parts of us that has strength and weaknesses. So I've, I've learned them. So this, that what helps me handle stress. When I get stressed out, I'm like, okay, which one is out of balance? Hmm. And there are different qualities to each one of them, right? When my innocent, I don't know, I don't have a name for her yet, but you know, I, I very clear sense for her, right? So that's one way I deal with it. Another part of me is um, I'm a very, I'm very rebellious <laughs> and I have like a warrior in me, such a strong warrior, right? That's the bullshit. And I have to respect this part too. And they, those two coexist, they're very different. And when whenever each one of them gets out of balance, they need different treatment, right? Because when the warrior, the rebel gets out of balance, it needs a very different treatment than when my naive, beautiful, innocent essence gets out of balance. So getting to know yourself, or like I'm, yeah, so there are parts of us, right? Getting to know yourself really well and accepting that you have parts of you that are different and imbalance comes in different parts in different shades or colors or you know um energetic qualities is very important 
and how I keep my energy up. I go out in nature a lot by myself. I love nature. I need silence. I need nature. It's like, oh, I'm home. I love it. Um, I need beauty on me. I need beauty that nourishes me. I, um, I need to connect to people I love. So, but keeping your energy up means being very aware of what keeps your energy down, right? And limiting it as much, limiting it, limiting it, I can't speak English now, limiting it as much as possible. So that's how I handle stress and how I keep my energy up. And thank you, Helena, for asking this question. Um, yeah.